The Aeronautical Development Agency wants to incorporate autonomous technologies in the AMCA Next Generation Fighter Program, for which it has started work on a fully automatic vision-based autonomous taxi and takeoff and landing system, image recognition technology and other sensors. It will allow automatic taxiing of AMCA from the hangar to the main runway while maintaining the runway centerline with the default takeoff speed, and enable autonomous takeoff and landing on its own, that will help pilots to focus less on aircraft operations, and more on strategic decision making and mission management. The autonomous taxi and takeoff and landing feature will be available in the unmanned AMCA variant, but it will also be available in the manned AMCA. 13-ton Indian strike unmanned aerial vehicle and the future unmanned fighter aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics will conduct the rollout of the Tejas lift variant in 2025, that will be used for demonstration and trials to meet the requirements of the Indian Air Force Royal Australian Air Force and Egyptian Air Force. Officials have also rejected a recent fake news report by Eurasian Times, which reported that Australia is not interested in the Tejas lift variant. The Tejas is also the front-runner in the Malaysian tender, and the winner will be announced in August this year. At a time when the Brazilian firm Embraer has offered India the local production of C-390 Millennium along with integration of Indian-built systems, France, Germany and Sweden have announced the development of a new European transport aircraft under the future mid-size tactical cargo program, and the alliance is open to new partners, and it is possible that other countries will join soon. The new tactical transport aircraft project will replace the American C-130 Hercules, and its development will start from 2026. The Indian Navy is set to announce its first ever unclassified version of the unmanned roadmap about underwater capabilities, that will give the private industry a peek inside the Navy's requirement for underwater vehicles, and complete details of planned inductions along with timelines, so that the industry knows where to focus their development efforts. The Navy also plans to operate unmanned aerial vehicles on board aircraft carriers, and fixed-wing unmanned aerial system for airborne electronic warfare, strike operations, and air-to-air -air refueling missions in the future. India's Garuda Aerospace has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Tamil Nadu Industrial Development Corporation Limited, to jointly develop a facility focused on the defence sector. The Civil Aviation Ministry has also released the second provisional list of 23 beneficiaries today, under the Production Linked Incentive Scheme for Drone and Drone Components, which includes Garuda Aerospace and Adani Elbit Advanced Systems India Limited. Indian Navy's frigate INS Satpura and P-8I aircraft is participating in the RIMPAC 2022 multilateral naval exercise hosted by the US Navy in Hawaii. The Marine Commandos of the Indian Navy also conducted firing drills, and board search and seizure exercises with the Special Forces of US, Japan and South Korea.